already know what it is. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today. To pick a good fight me? for Oscar Valdez. No, no, Oscar me? Valdez. No, 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 no. It won't me? I'm going to go tell him come back down to 126 and meet Rickenback. Oh, that would be epic. Bob uh, Aram said he'd like to see him fight Salido. I don't think he would. Right, but what do you think about Salido getting that uh, revenge on that one last year? He's not going to beat no more. Salido won that time because Loma Chico didn't understand. He taught Loma Chico to perfect the game. I don't think he'd beat him before. And it's a great fight for him to have because he's going to give it that long. But I don't see Salido beat him. Because Salido got the right style, but I just don't see it happen. What does he do Roy, well in the ring, Roy? What do you like about him? He do everything. Does he have to move to 135? There's a lot of fights. Man, let me do this. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, I'm one of those guys who leave you off for a good amount of work. So that's why I'm going to call him. They feel like they are uh, in anyway. Uh, they're not going to go out and throw their life away or take a chance on their life for that disadvantage to start with. So you have to factor in all facts. Roy Jones Jr., no. Roy come from the game Rooster World. Roy came from a world where he thought a rooster for the fight to the end and he wasn't fighting rooster in the ring. So Roy don't guess the jack up where Roy come from. But this kid didn't come from that. And plus being put at a disadvantage. Keep your hair strong or what about nothing. Nobody say you cool to you. You got the decision. You deserve it. Check this out. Real quick. You did a great job. You persevered. You came back. You just keep doing what you're doing. You can. Y'all both going to match out. I wouldn't do that at all. Because you are doing this. You are you are that type of person. However, I wouldn't do this. There's nothing because right now, you didn't dictate the belt. You didn't call that decision. They called the decision. It's your daughter with the decision. You do what you do. Roy, Roy, what do you think of Kovalev's chances in the rematch? A lot of people feel like because Andre's brain and his ability to adjust, he doesn't got much of a chance in the rematch. That's not true. If this man got power to knock anybody out in the first five rounds. So how can you not have to say yet he doesn't have a chance? And he can also outbox people for the first five rounds because he's fresh. Andre wore him down to make him look not so good in that last hand of the fight. He didn't just, it didn't just happen. So you don't come to the ring wore down around once. It takes time, like Andre did this fight, to wear down. And the whole time until he wears down, he's dead to date. Well, Andre's probably going to be a little more cautious than he was in the first six rounds of the first fight. Well, you don't know that. If he's smarter, he may be cautious, but he also might come out and say, you know what, let me jump on him early. So I don't give up in the first three rounds, then I got a better chance of even winning the decision or getting my team. Would, would those guys have been a good fight for you? If anybody would have been a good fight, we're going to make you a good fight. If you're going to bomb them, make you look like a good fight because I know how to go in there and entertain people and make it look good. Did you see a little bit of yourself in the stage tonight, Ruth? A little bit. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Angie. You're watching Barbershop Conversations. Make sure to click the button below to subscribe, like the video, don't like it, leave a comment. Um, you can also follow me at um, Angelica Curtis on Instagram. See you soon.